Hello, this is Insane CSS Player, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a signature using GIMP. So you're going to want to open up here GIMP, and then you're going to want to open up a new thing, 420 by 115, and you're going to grab your spray tool and find a cool brush, something that's going to look almost like spray paint maybe, use a black on white, just fill it up a little bit, something to make it look good. I'm going to use a couple different ones maybe. Um, this one right here. Then I'm going to find a paintbrush. I'm going to find another brush that's sort of urban, like urban vector kind of. Um, that one right here. Size it down a little bit, just kind of like make it one. And then put that on there. It doesn't really matter. You don't have to have the exact brushes as me. Just make sure you have something that's kind of urban. -y. I'm going to grab another one another urban one and we're going to put this one on there and then one more and then size it down a little alright I don't like where that's going I'll put it in a different spot alright now I'm going to open up my PNG file my render you can get these from planetrenders.com I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it onto the signature. Then I'm going to open up my layers and I'm going to create a new one so it's not pasted on there. Alright. Then I'm going to go to the paint bucket and I'm going to fill the background with a like a gradient type thing and I'm going to get thin lines. It doesn't look like it on here on the video because um, it's shitty but <laughs> that's what you have to do. And then I'm going to fill my background with it. See, it makes it look like crap, but that's not how it actually looks. After I've done that, I'm going to make another copy of my render layer. And I'm going to go to filters, blur, motion blur. I mean, it doesn't really matter what numbers you use. Just make the blur stick out quite a bit. And just make the angle either 0 or 360. It doesn't matter. And now what I'm going to do is put my old layer, old render layer on top of the blurred one. Just going to have a blur that comes out from behind it. Then after that I'm going to throw my name on there. And my in-game name's Donut, so I'm going to put that on there. I'm going to choose a uh, fancy font, because I think that'll kind of fit in a way. With the render that I'm doing. See here, I'm going to do a color white it up a little bit, make it fit. Donut. Then I'm going to move it out of the way so it doesn't cover up my vector spray. Move it down a little bit. And then I'm going to do what I did with the background again. I'm going to go to the paint bucket in a second here. Um, I'm going to go to the paint bucket. And I'm going to fill that over to that again too. It makes it hard to see on the video, but the actual render turned out nice.